interior designer Melissa Roberts is back on the show. Good to see Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, this always sounds super easy. Just declutter. Uh, yeah, until you try to actually start to declutter. So you have a way to kind of map us through how to really get into kind of the minimalist living. Yes, definitely. So there's five easy steps. You just follow them and then at the end you just need to sit back and really enjoy your space and make sure you love and everything has a purpose that's in it. And right. the first step is decluttering, but this is way easier said than done. You know, a lot of people have a lot of stuff in their house. So what's your yes. strategy to tackling the clutter? So we all go shopping and we love like little accessories. So we end up with trays like this all over the room. We love pictures and so we put them in these bulky frames, but really we don't need all that. We just need to take, take all of these little pieces out and just simplify, stack a couple of books, one simple object, and then put your frames away, just pack those away and put your pictures into acrylic pieces like this so the picture is really the focal point. So you're saying this tray is what we want to avoid because yes. there's so much going on here. So much going on. Well, each piece is a cute, is really cute individually. It's it just is. It's too much. It's dust collectors. You don't need all that. Dust collectors. <laughs> <laughs> I love having pictures up around my house because yes. it kind of takes us through, you know, the timeline, especially of my kids. Memories. How do we deal with that? So I think it's just important, you know, take those pictures instead of like bulky traditional frames, get something like this, hang them on your wall, create straight lines on the wall. And really that's, you can create your memory lane and you can actually use colors that will like go with your home. You know, like if you have yellow shirts on or something like that, you know, you can bring out color that way, but just keep straight lines by lining them up cleanly on the wall. And that gallery wall we just uh, were seeing photos of that is essentially using this acrylic frame, but the way you line them up so perfectly, yes. it looked visually very clean. It does. It does. It has a lot less clutter and it really just lets the eye just kind of focus on the pictures and not so much like what all is going on here. And you also say focus on function. And what does that mean? That's per room? Yes. Yeah, so in every room, anytime I help in clients or even myself, you know, um, when I recently did my home office, it was important. What is the room going to function for? And what do I need each piece? That way I don't have tons of clutter just sitting everywhere. Everything has a purpose and I know what it needs to be used for. Yeah, that's true. And I love the decluttering, by the way, it doesn't mean you can't have the family photos up. Of course we yeah. want to have that. Keep your memory. Let's talk about office decor. That's what we're seeing on the screen right now. And this is uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Thank really you. Yes, so that is just a simple, um, it's a buffet. You can call it a credenza, but it's important because if you open those doors in there, it's where I keep my toolboxes for install days. I have my work bag in there, my pencil sharpeners in there. Everything's in there, so it's not just out on the desk causing more clutter, you know? I open it up and everything is right there, but it looks nice and clean from the outside. Put away, basically. Yes. And yes. if it doesn't fit, let's basically think about do we really need it, right? Where, right, where, what all do you need, what do you not need, and just kind of simplify things. And one of the things that you uh, recommend simplifying, this is actually your third tip, the color scheme. Yes. Keep the color palette very simple and then add color using objects like plants and pillows. Yeah, so um, everyone loves color, but when you start adding like four colors, five colors, it really just gets too much. Your eye doesn't know where to function, like look at. You can't figure out what is the main focal point here. So if you can keep it to two to three colors using your neutrals with a pop of like green or blue, it really works better. That's just like perfect for the minimalist. I love that. And then you can also change it out, right? Absolutely. Per season? Yes, and that's why I love using like pillows, you know, throw blankets, things like that, small pieces of art, because it is so easy to change those. It's not as expensive. Look at that black and white room on the Fantastic. Screen. You also so say nice. layering texture. What exactly does that mean? Is that kind of what you're doing here with the velvet? Yes, yeah, so we have velvet and linen, and then, you know, with this vase, it's brass. It's got like great texture in it with all the details, but you know, any kind of plants, whether they're artificial or real, you know, they add great texture and then nice wood details, whether you have tile, marble, like millwork on the walls, you know, that just adds so much texture but allows you to really keep the decor very simple. And you're hitting on something because that's an artificial plant, right? Yes, yes. So I got this vase online, absolutely loved it. And I was just thinking, you know, what am I going to do with this? So I just thought, you know, what if I just add some succulents? I just simply put some in here already and then just keep adding to it. And I just wanted it to be very simple. So I kind of offset them and just left them all on one side instead of like filling the vase completely up. Yeah. Oh. And Melissa, your last tip is to edit. So you mean go through a room and yeah, so constantly means identify Yes, so it means go through the go? first four steps and then take a step back and look at, think about it again. Does the room have a purpose? Does everything serve a purpose? You know, is it functioning well? And if not, maybe you notice your tray is a little bit full. Try to take something out and just make sure that everything is there that you love, you really need, and that you're going to enjoy. Yeah, we all have way too much stuff, right? I uh, definitely do. Guilty. Well, thank you so much for <laughs> thank stopping you. by. Some thank you so beautiful much. Beautiful tips. And if you would like to connect with Melissa, just visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website.